Hi, this is Brian again from Electro TV, and I'm at the Arduino booth at Embedded World 2025, and they have a lot of interesting demos, so I want to speak to Marcello Mayonki. How are you? I'm doing great. How about yourself? Very, very good. Thank you. So, it's been a big year. I've been past your booth a few times. It's been packed, jam-packed, but uh, finally I got a chance to speak to you. How's the, how's the show going? Oh, it's been great so far. As you said, a lot of people are very interested in what uh, you know we are presenting here, and uh, you know we are you know very proud and very happy of uh, you know we were able to you know to give people to appreciate and uh, and look at. Yeah, and uh, people are very excited about your products. In fact, just behind the camera, still throngs of people looking at the demos. You've moved a lot into industrial. I see your partner wall there, and uh, you've moved from hobbyists at the beginning of the Arduino era, and now you're very strong in in industry. Absolutely. So it turns out that those hobbyists uh, are actually people that are making uh, incredible products uh, in enterprise environments. Uh, and as I do, you know, we feel that our mission is really to support and foster that type of uh, that type of effort. Uh, and actually, you know, I think that the 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 the, the the defining uh, theme uh, of uh, you know this year for Arduino at Embedded World uh, is not a single product, even though we launched uh, you know several products. Uh, but it's the fact that we have so many different uh, you know demos that are showcasing real-world uh, use cases uh, enabled by real customers, uh, real companies uh, in the industry, right? Uh, and that we are showcasing here from uh, you know computer vision to kind of industrial automation to uh, you know a smart home. Uh, there are many many different things that are all capturing what actually people are doing in the real world to create uh, modern, uh, uh, innovative products uh, through Arduino technology. Yeah, and you've brought people up basically. You, you grew them up from Arduino Uno up to uh, the Portenta series. I remember reviewing the Portenta a couple of years ago when it came out. How has the footing been in the industrial world? So it's been it's been great uh, both with the uh, Potenta, which is our line of uh, system of modules. Uh, uh, of course, we are kind of you know, trailblazing uh, in uh, having system of modules uh, with microcontrollers, uh, and uh, you know we were very happy with the growth uh, and uh, you know the the feedback that we got from the market. Uh, and uh, you know the Potenta line is being featured in uh, you know many different products, right? From drones, uh, uh, you know we have AGVs here, so you know the in that, yeah, autonomous robots for you know the factory floor, uh, and so we are kind of you know, really really happy with that. But also, you know, we are also in the industrial automation world with Opta, which is our industrial automation uh, and micro PLC lineup of products. And this is really something that uh, that is growing uh, super fast uh, because it really provides uh, a new and more modern way, right, to you know develop industrial automation solutions uh, with a platform that is as easy as any other Arduino product. Yeah, and you uh, have not been shy to jump into other products. For example, one might say Espressive is your competitor, but you jumped in and put an ESP32 chip on the Arduino. And uh, your high-end products, for example, in industrial automation, you support MIPI, and the MIPI Alliance was here doing some presentations. Are you looking to jump into anything else that you haven't touched on yet? We definitely do, right? Not quite ready to kind of you know, share with the public yet, but uh, you know, you guys will be the first to know, and uh, and and your follower, you know, as a consequence of that. Uh, I think that uh, you know, speaking of uh, you know the variety of uh, you know chips, uh, manufacturers, and architectures, I think that this is one of the you know really defining part of Arduino. We don't want to stick on a single platform, right? But we want to really provide uh, to our customers uh, all the options uh, of what what's best in the market. Okay, great. So you heard it, yeah something exciting coming up and you'll be the first to know thank you very much marcello for joining us thank you for having me